previously on Harshibar. A few months ago, I made a nifty little project that would allow you to technically apply to hundreds of jobs or internships with the click of a button. It was pretty cool, but there was one problem. Before running the script, you had to manually enter a URL for every job you wanted to apply to. So realistically, finding those hundred URLs would be a huge pain. Since perfecting an app like this now more than ever would be so helpful, I wondered why can't I make a script to automate all of this? And that's my final Python project of the week, this job list aggregator, or the common intern part two, was born. Our goal for today is to make this app generate a list of URLs and feed it into the application bot. And before I start coding like crazy, let's take a step back and understand what steps will be required for this project. First, we need to access a site to perform the job search query. Second, we need to perform the search itself. Then we need to take the results page and figure out how to extract the application links. And finally, if possible, traverse through every page of results while repeating the previous step. My favorite job search site is Glassdoor, so let's go with that. To log into the site, since we may run into issues with CAPTCHA and probably shouldn't be storing passwords in plain text anyways, it's better to just launch the Glassdoor homepage and wait for the user to manually log in. And once they're logged in, the URL will change, at which point we can resume the script. Now that we're in, it's time to perform the job search itself. With Selenium, our general process is to look for an element on a page and then do something with it. I found that the easiest way to do this is to search for elements by XPath, which is a query language for selecting nodes from an XML document or an HTML page. To perform the query, we just find the text fields for position title and location, fill in the fields, and click Submit. Now we're staring at our elusive pot of gold. Naturally, I thought the best approach would be to simulate a user's interaction by having the script click through every listing on the left, find the apply now button on the right, and store the URL that the button is linked to. But little did I know how hard this would actually be. The first bump in the road was finding the right XPath, which was complicated by the fact that the page dynamically updates, changing the XPath itself. So that took a few hours. Then a bunch of glass or pop-ups started appearing, making the rest of the page unclickable. That took another two hours. And then I thought maybe I should actually mimic scrolling on the page itself and click on the same coordinate each time. Two hours later, still didn't work. At this point, it was 11 p.m. and I thought the inevitable happened. My Python project was a bust. And then the midnight coding miracle struck and I realized I was doing this all wrong. Instead of mimicking the user's behavior, I should just take a look at the raw HTML and find the links there. And lo and behold, they were. So instead of all this code, we can just fetch the page source, feed it into beautiful soup, find all the places with an href tag and job link class, do some processing on the resulting string and save the URL. And finally, after many tears were shed, it works. This looks great so far, but it only opened links for one page of results. I know we can do better than that. Upon inspecting the URL on Glassdoor for subsequent pages, we can see that the page number is appended towards the end of the URL. So to iterate through the paginated results, I used regex to parse the URL pattern and just swapped out the page number with each iteration. And now we can potentially apply to not hundreds, but thousands of jobs at once. We'll just have to wait and see how many rejections I get in the mailbox today. So this is all fine and dandy, but more broadly, there has been some discussion about whether applying to tech jobs is a matter of quantity, as my app suggests, or quality. To me, it's a mix of both. Sure, writing an in-depth cover letter is a great way to stand out, and I've done this, but there's no guarantee that someone will even open it. 
So my theory is that by applying to as many jobs as possible, you're increasing the likelihood that your resume is even open in the first place to land that first recruiter call. But to marry the best of both worlds, this app could be modified to just present the user with a clean listing of all job opportunities, let them filter out the ones they like to make cover letters for, and using those cover letters automatically apply. This way, there's some individuality maintained, but the annoying steps of the process can be eliminated. I never knew how crazy the world of tech recruiting was just a few years ago, and it's something that we should keep discussing and trying to improve on in whatever way we can. But yeah, I'd love to continue the conversation in the comments down below. And today's Friday, which means that this is the last video of my 5 days of Python project series. It's been pretty crazy cranking out so much code and so many videos, so I hope you enjoyed the process as much as I did. And if you like this video, please give it a big like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.